Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's time again for the unfiltered news from the reality zone, where political correctness is not spoken here. Compiled by G. Edward Griffin and his news scouts. Headlines you may have missed throughout last week and today, from March 23rd through the 29th of 2013. And now it's time for this week's comic strip. And it's the evolution of Obamacare. My plan will reduce the premiums by $2,500. You know, the Affordable Care Act. Actually, says the guy, it's the Society of Accuracies, says the Affordable Care Package. Actually, it may increase costs by 32%. And that's uh, from 2008 when he introduced it to 2013, which is today. Now you understand, it's not free. Nothing's free. It's going to cost you a lot. Now to the headlines that you might have missed. Video. The IMF has proposed adding a $1.40 per gallon gasoline tax to reduce carbon emissions and generate revenue to cover budget deficits. Let's be clear on this. Carbon emissions do not cause global warming. That's a politically inspired myth to justify higher taxes and increased government controls. The real goal here is money, power, and the elimination of private transportation. That's exactly what it is. It has nothing to do. The exhaust breaks down in the atmosphere. It doesn't affect anything on this planet. It's a, it's a temporary effect, I should say. Fox Business, March 29th. Next, Montana. Governor Steve Bullock voted a bill that would have prohibited the state from enforcing any federal bans on semi-automatic weapons or large capacity magazine. He claimed that Montana is required to enforce all federal laws, but that is not true. The Tenth Amendment recognizes that the federal government was created by the states and that powers not given to the Fed by the Constitution are reserved to the states or the people themselves. The Constitution does not give the Fed the power to tell citizens of Montana what kind of guns they may own. TAC attack March 29th. Do not allow to do not allow to even get close to telling you what. It's up to the state and the people of the state to make the laws. The federals have no thing. Only thing they're supposed to take care of is is basically keeping us safe and out of war, if all possible. Which that's not working either. And their only control is a 10-mile square area called Washington District of Criminals. Apparently, it's no longer the District of Columbia. Next, Japan. The Japanese power company, TEPCO, finally admits that Fukushima nuclear meltdowns that occurred two years ago could have been avoided and takes no, most of the blame for lack of preparation, money junkieing, and cutting back on things they should have had. Like the wall around Fukushima should have been a few feet taller. They should have had had tsunami walls built to the specifications of whatever the last tsunami that hit the islands and they know that and it's all written in their history it is estimated that it could take 40 years to isolate and dismantle the Fukushima plant that is still spewing dangerous levels of radiation into the ocean and into the air I mean it's three it's basically three Chernobyls going on China syndromes as the movie went Russian television, March 29th. This is unbelievable. And next video. The U.S. sent B-2 stealth bombers from Missouri to South Korea and back again in a single mission. The bombers dropped inert bombs there to demonstrate that the U.S. is capable of delivering atomic warheads in response to an attack by North Korea. CNN, March 28th. And the Koreans internally have been saying that we're going to strike LA and Washington DC and Austin Texas 
when having actually had a successful launch it was more for an internal support of their people saying our leader will protect you from the enemies abroad is basically what that was coming down to so his threats are not threats to us but confidence to his people Bitcoins, the next article, are the digital currency with no tangible value. However, since they are limited in number by design, they are increasingly popular as an alternative to national currencies. Spurred on by the banking crisis in Cyprus, they skyrocketed in price from $40 at the beginning of the, this month to an all-time high of $95 today. CNET, March 28th. Bitcoins are worth something, apparently. Next, smart guns are under development that require the owner's retinal scan to operate, which can be shut down by governments through a wireless connection. If shots are fired, the data will be reported to authorities. Since these will not be purchased by criminals, of course, that leaves the average citizen as the anticipated market. Story leak, March 28th. Yeah, and then I'm going to... They're not going to buy these weapons. The criminals are going to keep using the older weapons. They're just as effective. Oh, man. They're really trying to take away our rights and everything as fast as they can. I guess they can't rob us blindly and take what they want if we still got guns. They can't do a cypress to us. And that's what they really want to do. And then here's the thing about this health care, another destroyer of a country. U.S. new study shows that health care costs under Obama's so-called Affordable Care Plan will increase costs an average of 32% by 2017. Costs in California will rise to 62%. In Maryland, they will rise to 67%. And in Ohio, they will soar 80%. If you want free health care, you have to pay for it, don't you know? AP, March 27th. Next article. This is a criminal crime here. It's health care. It's a scam. Scam them to take money from your pocket and put it in theirs. Not to help anyone. It never was intended for that. U.S. The federal government is conducting a census of all farms to compile a database of farm assets. This appears to be the first step in the imp implementation of Obama's executive order that claims government control over farmland, crops, seeds, livestock, and all aspects of farming. Those who think they own their farms may soon be in for a big surprise. Natural News, March 27th. And it may be more shocking than having to pay property tax. Because you're paying property tax. You don't own your property. Because if you don't pay that property tax, the city or state will take that property away from you. Don't you know? So actually, when you do pay up your house and it's paid for, you're still paying rent on it. Just not as much. Next. The European Commission is investigating 16 financial groups and some of the world's biggest banks for criminal activity involving 27 trillion credit derivative market. This is criminal, 27 trillion dollars in credit derivatives. The U.S. Justice Department is performing a similar investigation, but we anticipate the usual scenario. No one will serve prison time, governments will collect large amounts of money in fines, and the cost will be passed to bank shareholders. If the fines put the banks into bankruptcy, they will be bailed out at taxpayers' expense. Don't you know? IB Times, March 27th. That's exactly what they'll do. You'll end up bailing out the too big the fells when they aren't too big the fells let somebody else step up and take on the plate when they do stuff like that and get rid of the people that can't handle their banks apparently they're not qualified for the job or they are they're just a little overqualified to make a scam out of it and make money lots of money out of your pocket to theirs next article. U.S. Senators Rand Paul, Ted Cruz, and Mike Lee sent a letter to Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid, notifying him that they would oppose any law that infringes the right to bear arms or that authorizes gun control surveillance. Their opposition would include a high-profile filibuster. 
Now we expect the gun control forces to try to change the filibuster rules. So they can't do that and, and have a filibuster. They, they were talking about doing that a few months ago. When the last filibuster that Rand Paul, actually a few weeks ago when Rand Paul ran a filibuster. I think I was on the health care. Political ticker, March 26th. Video. Obama appointed Julia Pearson as the new head of the scandal-plagued Secret Service. She is expected to change the male-dominated culture of the Secret Service. Is male domination really the problem in Washington? Would things be better if a woman a women were the decision makers? Think Hillary Clinton and Nancy Pelosi. Yes, Nancy Pelosi. We gotta pass this bill so we can find out what's in it. The health care bill. CNN, March 26. That was, I can't believe Congress went wrong with that. They must have been paid off, blackmailed, and everything else to allow that. That's just, that's just not how the constitutionally how the government's ran. Signing bills before reading them. I don't care if it's a million pages. They should have had to read every single page and every word. Okay, next video. New York Mayor Bloomberg, another enemy of the state, will spend 12 million of his own money to advertise against gun rights. The ads will spend gun control as a measure to protect against gun violence. But violent criminals don't follow laws, including anti-gun laws. We think leading gun control advocates know this, but their hidden agenda is to remove any possibility of citizens opposing or opposition to the coming police state and the robbing of all your retirement and savings accounts. Fox, March 25th. You know that what's happening in Cyprus is going to come to a country and state near you. Don't doubt it for a second. Speaking of Cyprus, a 10 billion euro bailout was directed by the EU and the IMF, you know, the International Monetary Fund. More criminals in an organization. Highlights. The second largest bank, uh, Likey Bank, will be closed down with all bondholders to be wiped out. Deposits over 100,000 euros will be totally confiscated. Lesser deposits will be transferred to largest, uh, the largest bank. The Bank of Cyprus, which will be restructured. Bondholders and shareholders will take a heavy hit Depositors with more than 100,000 euros will lose 30% or more of their savings. The Bank of Cyprus will inherit uh, Lakey Bank's 9 billion euro debt, setting it up for certain failure or additional bailout. Guardian, March 25th. Don't you see what's going down? That's coming down the pike. They found a new way of robbing people now and getting away with it. Remember, your accounts are only protected to $100,000 in the states, in the United States. So if you have anything over $100,000, I would, I would advise moving it to a, to a credit union or something, splitting it down so you don't have all your, all your eggs in one basket. That's for sure. Man. Video. Dutch finance minister, who was a leader in the... EU bailout of Cyprus said that account confiscation is the new bailout model. <laughs> yeah, that's nuts. That's crazy. That's robbery. That's criminal. That means that all bank accounts within the Eurozone now are at risk. Everyone in Europe is at risk. Cyprus was considered by Europeans as an offshore banking haven, and banks employ 25% of the entire workforce. Massive layoffs have already begun, causing even more woes for the Cyprus. CNBC, March 25th. This is just... They're, they're showing what they are. Yeah, I guess we pushed them to the point where the criminals are, don't even care anymore that they're showing their criminalities. And then now, Russia prepares to ban cash transactions over 10,000 by 2015. The ultimate goal is to eliminate cash altogether. So all movements of money can be monitored. They want to know where you're at and what you're spending all the time. For now though, the authorities are saying they merely want to improve bank reserves and clamp down on an illegal trade. RBTH March 25th. 
that's what they're that's Russia doing that to their people and it's just more criminality spread around this different way of doing it next US Monsanto Protection Act a criminal act this should be this should be constitutionally opposed it should not be allowed Monsanto should not have this power above the government U.S. Monsanto Protection Act slips silently through Congress. The bill was hidden inside a budget bill. It gives the Department of Agriculture the power to allow the planting, harvest, and sale of genetically engineered crops even if a court finds that it is harmful to human health or the environment. The bill was later signed by the President. The other criminal in charge, RT, March 25th. I hope your people were waking up about what Obama really is. He's a collectivist. He believes in Marxist ten rules of social or ten rules of communism, the ten planks. Don't you know? Video: Syrian rebels are claiming that Assad's government has used chemical weapons in a second attack. Well, after the first attack, Israel's top newspaper stated that the Assad regime was not involved. Meanwhile, rebel forces or mercenaries are deeply divided, and their newly elected leader has resigned. We believe this report is accurate, but caution is advised. It comes from a source that favors Leninist countries over Western countries. RT is March 25th. Next article, U.S. In a recent budget vote, 26 Republican senators voted in favor of an internet sales tax. They just want to rob you of your, of your, of your, of your riches and put them in their pocket. While the Senate budget likely will be rejected, it shows that more than enough Republicans will support this issue to pass it in the future. Red State, March 24th. They're, they're being criminals again? Man, next article. U.S. government purchases of massive quantities of ammunition has created a shortage for citizens. There is speculation that this may be by design or as a backdoor method of creating gun control. News Talk, March 23rd. Uh, that is News Talk, 1290 a.m. Uh, March 23rd. There you go. That may be it. I thought about that when they were buying all this ammo. If they buy it all up, then there won't be ammo for the citizen to buy. And they'll just sit on it. Alright, next. Portland, Oregon. City administrators are trying to eliminate the use of automobiles, except for themselves, by limiting parking spaces, a trend that is underway across the country. For example, a permit was issued to build an 81-unit apartment with no parking spaces. This already has happened in many counties or countries in Europe where permits cost a fortune and there are a few parking places. The article fails to mention that this is part of the UN's Agenda 21, the illegal agenda that they're trying to push through the United States right now, which is a blueprint for getting people out of the countryside and into sardine cities. That's right, where they can be fairly independent and crowded into cities where they are more easily can be monitored and controlled. Yes, you must be controlled. These control freaks aren't having enough fun yet with your lives from cradle to grave. Oregon Live posted March 23rd. Just more criminality. I'm telling you, these people are just criminals. And they've just, they've been, I guess, they've been taught to be criminals by the communist teachers in colleges and stuff who teach communism and planks of it. And try to get everyone to believe that that's a good thing when it's not. They'll find out. They'll find out when it's when they're ending up like Russia was in the Cold War and 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 Pal Pot and, and who else have we got and all the rest of the uh, communists out there that people <laughs> millions of people died under. They'll find out. Be too late by then, but they'll find out. A so-called free trade agreement between the U.S. and the EU is being hampered by the EU's strict policies against GMO foods. Food industry lobbyists are working to promote the new agreement which will allow GMOs but will introduce many new restrictions and controls. It is the opposite of free trade. AP, March 23rd. They're just, they want the GMO. They, they're poisoning you with these things. They're poisoning you with GMOs. It has side effects. Have you seen the mice with the tumors all over them? 
after 180 days after eating one particular type of genetically engineered corn. The test was done in France. You should see that, you should read that scientific article about the test. 180 days. They did it for 90 days and say, well, see, it's harmless. It don't hurt you. And then the other people went on to 180 days and then the next thing you know is all these tumors start popping out all over the rats. Yeah, that's it. That's what we're getting. This is what you want. This is what you get. Unless you change it. The Pentagon requested $49 million to build a new prison in Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, for special detainees. Didn't Obama say he was going to close that place down? Hmm, apparently not. He's got, he's got people in, this, in the states that know what he is, and he wants to get rid of his enemies. New York Times, March 23rd. And now to this little short video as an in-between before the analysis. These beavers were really performed for the camera. Click and be amazed. And this beaver sits here and is doing his job building his dam. And now to the analysis. Video. The Truth About Easter Bunnies is a short video that explains the responsibility that comes with buying a cute little bunny for kids at Easter. Far too many of them end up being abandoned. Learn how you can borrow a bunny from a shelter for a short time to see if your family is ready for the commitment. This is not the kind of information normally carried on the unfiltered news, but we think it is significantly important to make an exception. Just because you know, people go buy their kids rabbits and then they, they figure out they don't want the thing and, and then it becomes a pest out in the nature. Uh, Natural Society, March 29th. So that's just a little help you out there. Video legendary investor Jim Rogers no longer invests in the U.S. stock market because the all time highs are the result of money printing, not increased profitability. The only reason the stock market's up is because they print it so much money they make it look like it's up. When actually the money's been devalued and is, has less buying power. You notice everything in the stores have gone up like a dollar or two? Wonder why? Because they, they had the printing press running over time. He advises dividing deposits so they, they are less than the insured amount after the IMF condoned looting bank accounts in Cyprus. See, he's the one that came up with that too. He said you should split your, split your money up. If you have over $100,000 in a bank, take the whatever's over it and stick it somewhere else like in a credit union or somewhere. So you're not over the hundred thousand, so they can't get their grubby little hands on it. The IMF and other banksters. And Cyphers Rogers predicts food prices soon will go much higher due to reduced production. As I said, they have have already noticed it at the stores. CNBC, March twenty eighth. Next article. U.S. In nearly every school shooting in the past 15 years, the shooters was on or was withdrawing from psychiatric prescription drugs (SSRIs). This fact is ignored by federal and state governments and the media, especially the media. They won't even they they don't want to lose their their advertising from these pharmaceutical companies, so they're not going to say a word, which have. For, which have preferred to focus on the dangers of guns rather than the dangers of drugs. In response to the Sandy Hook shooting, Connecticut lawmakers introduced a bill to require psychological screening of school children. That always leads to more children being put on these dangerous meds. Well, at one time, they were giving the schools $2,000 a head to get them on these drugs. The schools were getting this money from the pharmaceutical companies to get them on, on uh, Ritalin and other and Prozac. And they wonder why the kids are, our minds are, her, her, her minds are popping. And that the pharmaceutical industry is the biggest financial underwriter of psychiatry. Do you suppose there is a connection? I do. I know it's so. Every one of these shootings, even the Colorado shooter, was on some type of of uh, SSRI. Uh, Sarah Reup inhibitor. And. Uh, this is the New American Post at March 27th. March and it, all of them have had the same thing. The Lanza was supposed to be on Pendat, a drug that no one's ever heard about but exists. 
that his uncle said that yeah he was on this drug for a while and this drug would cause you know cause psychotic snaps like he went through so I think I think this is uh, where we have to be looking at guns don't kill people people on psychotic drugs kill people that's who really kills people in schools I mean when you got these people on these drugs and they see a sign over the door that says no gun law or no gun gun free zone in their mind it says open shooting gallery moving targets that's what it says in their mind on these people on these SSRIs are withdrawing from them anyways last story video here is an interesting overview of the degree to which contaminated food and nutritional products from China are falsely certified as organic and find their way into the American food chain Natural Society posted March 23rd. Yeah, they got you ever you ever seen some of it? They say that some of the stuff like your spices that come from China don't even have the spice in there. It has something it tastes like the spice. And it's not actually the spice that you're buying. So you gotta watch that stuff coming in from China. Some of it is not what it says it is. So this is a very good video to watch to find this stuff out. Now, let's go to the cooldown period of the uh, great photos. Unlikely buddies, but it works for them. Cat and pony. Unbelievable. That's a cute picture. Oh, I like that one. And you got your humor, <laughs> humor for this week. Question, what is the definition of globalization? And then you got this guy here never grew up from his uh, radio flyer. He liked his wagon when he was a kid. And so he grew up, he made a full-size working one, a working automobile. You gotta love this. <coughs> and that's, that's cool. Then you got the unfiltered form. Still fighting at age 99. Uh, one last round in the Chavez, Chavez debate. And then you got from a former Federal Reserve consultant. All these are the talking points for this week and the unfiltered news. Until next time, I hope you have a beautiful weekend. It's an Easter weekend. Have a nice rest of uh, Good Friday. And I will come with you with another, another news headlines that you may have missed next week. And the link to this newsletter will be underneath the video in the description. So, uh, till then, be good or be good at it. And have a wonderful, wonderful Easter. Good day.